Welcome back to the Manson lathe. Now in the first few videos that I did on this wonderful little lathe, we turned some cast iron and then we, when we had a go at turning some brass, and I said that the problem was that it only runs at 550 RPM, which is way too slow for aluminium. But then again, it was way too slow for brass as well. But it managed to turn brass okay. However, the tool in it, the, the, the tool tip, as far as I can tell, really isn't ideal for aluminium at all. But people have asked and said, you know, could we see it trying to turn some aluminium? So we have a piece of half inch aluminium bar stock chucked up, ready to go. So I thought, right, we'll give it a go. You know, as long as I, you know, we'll damage it, as long as we take nice light cuts, so it should be okay. We'll just see what it's like, really. I'm gonna move the camera angle as I did before so that I can get right in on here so you can see exactly what it's doing. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Let's see what it does. I've only put a very light cut on at the moment, obviously. Just scratching the surface, but it does seem to be cutting okay. Okay, let's stop it there. actually a very nice finish on that. That is actually quite nice. <coughs> so, zoom in a little bit. Yeah, it's made quite a good job of that. All right, well, um, I'll take it back and we'll, we'll take another cut. All right. very nicely actually. As I said these are just scratch passes but you can see the chips coming off. Yes, it's looking very nice indeed. Very nice. I think we'll do one more. This is a bit of a deeper cut, as you can see by the lovely little spiral we're getting. Lovely long continuous spiral. Talk about apple core peeling. Amazing. The lathe is definitely slowed down at this de depth of cut though. Well, that looks pretty damn good to to me. Okay, well, I'll take the um, the piece, the work piece out, and we'll have a closer look at that finish. Well, that was very successful. There's the uh, there's the turned piece of aluminium. Absolutely superb finish on there, no problem at all. Which is great because it means that for small pieces of um, aluminium work, uh, for, for particularly for model steam engines and that, that's that's absolutely brilliant. I mean, I can you know use that, actually use it in practice, and you can see the kind of uh, chips that it made. I don't know whether you can see that in front of the camera there. So yeah, <coughs> so it would appear that the uh, Mansa lathe is perfectly okay for turning aluminium as well as brass and cast iron. <laughs> 
So <clears throat> what a wonderful, I mean it is, truly is, I mean I absolutely love this lathe. This is on display in my lounge, I leave this, uh, you know, on the mantel, mantelpiece. It is just a, an absolutely brilliant, brilliant little lathe, <clears throat> just as a showpiece. But to be able to use it practically as well, that's just fantastic. So, okay, that's it for this, I think this is part four of the, <laughs> of the Manson lathe. Making some chips with some aluminium bar stock. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching. Cheers.